Right, a good tip is don't go too near the hot dogs because if you look at one, they have it on the bread bun ready for you and I wasn't even wanting one. Oh my god, the Golden Gate Bridge is in mist again. <laughs> Just casually walking down the back streets of San Francisco. Welcome back to the channel, Whirly and Nick, a couple from the UK. In 2017, due to a health scare, we gave up our 9 to 5 lives and bought a lodge on the east coast of England, where we started enjoying life and seeing more of the world. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and join us on our biggest adventure yet as we drive from LA to Orlando on our USA road trip. Rito in the um, Western St. Francis in Union Square, San Francisco. We're just going to call here for breakfast. We're going to have avocado toast then we're going to go out there and move the car. Right, we've ordered. We're just waiting for it to be brought to our table. Um, we've just got some mint teas and um, a couple of updates which I forgot to do yesterday is when we're using the curve card because it's a weekend started charging as a fee so we've stopped using it until Monday and uh, the other thing as well is the hotel parking in this hotel is 60 is $80 a night including tax there's a car parking lot over the road that basically does uh, parking for $38 a night so we're going to move the car over there uh, unfortunately it's not got in and out privileges you've got to pay a little bit more to be able to take your car in and out about 45 a day or something like that but it's still half price of the hotel and I've installed an app on my phone called uh, Mooney Mobile, which allows you to basically pay for tickets for the cable cars, the trams, um, the buses and the metro to get you all across San Francisco. And that's $13 each. We're going to do that when we get outside. Do you want the radish? I can't get it out. There we go. Very nice lobby here at the... Um, Western St. Francis. It's got a winery. I've just spotted a winery inside the lobby. <laughs> um, so we might have a little proper, a better look around tonight. Oh my God. Look at like a conference center or something up there. It's the, size of this place the biggest like... lobby we've ever seen. So we're going to go and check out this car park, which is opposite the hotel somewhere. $38 per night rather than $70 per night at this hotel. I can actually get a car park for $39 for two nights, but it's a fair walk and it looks like a bit of a grubby area, so. Right, so this is out front of our hotel. Saks Fifth Avenue, Tiffany & Co. There's a Macy's somewhere. Is this Union Square? Yes. So it's Union, area of Union yeah, Square. Straight outside the hotel. So we've got to go around the side and look at this um, car park. Right, so just around the corner from the hotel is this car park, which is $38 for a night or they've got a special at the moment for $43 for in and out privileges which means you can um, go in and out and go, as much as you like. So we're going to uh, move the car there, yeah? Right, yeah. Right, here's the um, parking charges of this hotel where we are staying. So we paid for $70 for last night and it's hotel tax so it's $79.80. Right, so literally just around the corner is the uh, parking. It's self-parking, so all automated. So we're going to pay for two nights here, right? Two we? nights, yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. For a part two, if you come to San Francisco, this is very important. There's a lot, oh of, a lot of theft in San Francisco, so uh, make sure you don't, don't, leave, don't leave any valuables don't in your car. Can. Right, so Money Mobile or Mooney Mobile, buy tickets, regular adult, we want the one day passport because we're doing the wine tour tomorrow, we want two tickets and that should get you on everything all day for two people. That includes trams, buses, streetcars, cable cars and trams. 
Right, we're currently in Union Square, just off, opposite the uh, hotel. So Nick's just booking that, it's $13, it'll get us all around the city. Um, but if you don't want to do that, it does look like a good place to get the um, tour guides, the hopping off tour guides. Um, yeah, I don't know how much they are, but um, people are just buying them and getting on there. But we decided we want to do the trams and um, we want to make a zone way around the city. finally on one of the trams, it's the third one we've had to wait for, but we're finally on it. Right, we've just taken the uh, cable car right to the end uh, where it goes and it just stops here and well, this is Fisherman's Wharf. Oh yes it is actually. I was just going to check GPS to see whether we've actually got the right one, but yep. we have. That's where we are and Fisherman's Wharf starts there. So if we get to the end and look left you'll see the Golden Gate Bridge. So the last time we came to San Francisco um, it was a really nice hot sunny day, well for a few days actually, but the Golden Gate Bridge was always covered in mist, so we've actually not seen this Golden Gate Bridge you never seen it. properly. We actually drove over it and we still couldn't see it, it was that misty. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed today, I'll get to see it. And it was sunny, but it wasn't warm. It was like 18 degrees. We'd just come from Yosemite, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, we drove the other way at this, that time and it was baking hot in Yosemite and when we got here it was freezing. freezing. It's just Especially a nice, Alcatraz. it's a nice temperature today. It's just, just nice. Right, we're on Pier 45 and there is Alcatraz. We're not going across to do it today, all this trip. We have done it before in the past, so we're going to skip that one, but I'll zoom in so you can see it. There we go. The famous Alcatraz. So we've never been down this area before, so just around here you should be able to see the Golden Gate Bridge. And I think you can actually go on board the, uh, the military ship as well. It was part of the uh, bus tours ticket, you could buy that as a bolt-on. So we may just pay to go on board and have a look round. On Pier 45 as well there's this um, San Francisco Museum which is free admission. Looks like it's all slot machines and old things. I remember those. Oh my god, you used to see them in Blackpool, <laughs> yeah. remember? Yeah. They just tell you all sorts of random I lines. Bet, I bet the theme park Baza remembers those. I bet they did, I bet he serviced them. Where you held on and it vibrated. Yeah. And you could get the light bulb in the mouth. I remember that, they had that one in Blackpool as well. Little miniature. It's come along these days, doesn't it, compared to what it used to look like. Yeah. That's basically like old wooden things with a bit of animation on it. It is very noisy in here, so I'm hoping you can hear me. Little gorilla in a cage that used to have in circuses. So you can get on board this ship as well, the SS Jeremiah O'Brien, a World War II ship. We're just reading about it here in May 23 on 2020 in lockdown. There was a big fire on board. No, not the ship, the pier. Yeah. But it was anchored and they couldn't cut the line. So all where we stood here yeah. was basically on fire and they couldn't disconnect that to get to it. But luckily, because it's all metal, it survived. Guess what? I'm hungry. Thought you might say that. Right, a good tip is don't go too near the hot dogs because if you look at one, they have it on the bread bun ready for you and I wasn't even wanting one. Well, it was, but we're making our way to Pier 39, which is just behind us, just, just well, in front, just of, in front of, us. of us. Right, we're just walking past a uh, bay cruise and we decided to book it $37 each. And um, let me just tell you what it is. It's a 60 minute cruise that sails underneath the Golden Gate Bridge and around Alcatraz with the free audio tour. So we're just going to try and get on the one that's about to set off. some of the sea lions on Pier 39. Give me the floaty. Right there. Oh my god. The 
Golden Gate Bridge is in mist again. Will we ever get to see the Golden Gate Bridge? Sorry, we'll just go to Umber. Yeah. Enjoyed that tour. Now we can say we've finally been very close to the Golden Gate Bridge. I mean, we have still not seen it with blue skies. <laughs> we have driven over it before, but we've seen it a lot closer now. Yeah. So we're now at Pier 39, which is like a bustling, thriving um, place to place, eat, eat drink, drink, music, shop. And uh, this is the first time we ever um, discovered Bubba Gump bread pudding. Yeah, this was our first Bubba Gump. We may even go and just have Bubba Gump bread pudding. Maybe. We need a snack on here because we are very hungry now. <laughs> I love that. I don't worry. All the smells is making me very hungry. I can smell all sorts of different smells. A bit of like fish restaurants, a bit of chocolate, Biscoff coffee here. Oh. The plan is we were gonna go and have dinner at the Stinking Rose, which is a garlic restaurant, but we may even go there for Well, maybe we'll get a snack here one. and a snack there. Yeah, oh, that's fine. Just show you the menu of Boudin, because a few people have recommended this to us. We've got like hot sandwiches. It's like the San Franciscan version of the um, Earl of Sandwich. Yeah, I do quite like the. Oh my god, look at that. There. With oh, the gravy. No, don't. And they cut it in me. half so we can share it. No, but I want to. With have garlic a, buttered toasted I, sourdough. No, but I want a bread pudding. No, we've had that loads. No, we haven't. Fish and chips. Alcatraz gift shop there. Oh, yeah, a fruit market. Market, that's yeah. new. And if I uh, remember correctly, there's a sweet shop around here, if it's still there, that had barrels and barrels of sweets oh, and chocolates and things. Actually. Yeah, I think this were it with all the uh, barrels of chocolates and stuff. Oh my god, that looks well nice. Like, it's like chocolone. Oh no, it's not. It's. Um, it says on the back. Yeah, it's like chocolone. Chocolate actually. breakups, milk chocolate almond breakup, oh. made with guttard chocolate. Looks very nice. Now, if you do want um, Gerundelli's chocolate, the Gerundelli's chocolate factory is actually Gerundelli. just Gerundelli, Gerundelli, whatever. And they actually just down the road. Sell it all here. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Nick, for some reason, thinks there's an N in Gerundelli. So, oh, the there you go. Right, we're just walking around deciding what to have as a snack. There's so much um, choice. There's clam chowder oh, again. Want. And it looks so like a nice really nice clam chowder here. I just want everything. There's that French dip, there's Bubba Gump, there's absolutely tons of choices. Crab and seafood houses, there's donut stands, there's loads of Biscoff coffee stands, yeah. magic shops. It reminds me of Universal um, City Walk. Yeah, a little bit. But on a boardwalk type thing. Yeah. And also up here at Blackpool. Yeah. Right, we're gonna see what the wait time is at Bubba Gum. Just for a bread pudding. Oh, it looks busy. I'm devastated to say the least. I knew that there was a chance when we went in there that they wouldn't have it. And when we went in, he says they don't have any available at the minute. There's only four things on the menu. So we've come away 
So we've decided we're going to follow the advice of the people that put some um, recommendations on our Facebook group. So one of them was a place called The Stinking Rose, which is a garlic restaurant that everything you buy in the restaurant is made of garlic, including the ice cream. So we're walking out of Pier 39 now. It's about a 20 minute walk from here and we're going to give that a go. So we're going to stink tomorrow for this wine tour. One thing you've got to remember about San Francisco is it's very hilly. I've forgotten about the being on a hill. Everything's on a hill. Fisherman's Wharf is at the bottom and everything else is on the sodding top. Half a mile to go to the stinking rose. Hills like that all over the place. It's so San Franciscan. San Franciscan, I know what you mean. Word? You can just imagine Mrs. Doubtfire hanging out of that window up there when she had the cream pie on her face. Uh, up there. And it fell off. They just look all the same, San Francisco apartments. You never know, it might have been filmed in there. And then her face dropped on the floor and the truck ran over it. Just saying to Nick, this is much nicer place, in our opinion, than LA. There's lots more greenery, it's not as busy, it's not as crowded. It's got more history and more culture. More cultured, it feels like. And if I had to live somewhere in California, San Francisco would be it. Well, I couldn't do it, Hills. Uh, here we are at the stinking rose. I can smell garlic already. <laughs> right, here we are at the stinking rose. We're about to get very smelly. So, uh, here is the menu. I'll we'll open it slowly so you can see what's on it. And then we'll point out what we've actually no, ordered. Just yeah, go on, say what we've ordered. So, we've actually ordered. Uh, the um, stinking rose garlic salad and also a hot chicken garlic sandwich and half a bottle of Pinot Noir. Why not? As we're on uh, holiday in San Francisco, why not? The stinking chicken baguettes arrived. I can't smell much I garlic. Can't smell it. Maybe it'll just Maybe be. Maybe need to bring some extra garlic. <laughs> Maybe it'll just be tomorrow that we smell. And then the um, chicken garlic salad as well. Um, I was expecting like some cloves, like whole cloves or something well, like that. There might be. Let me have a look underneath. No, it's just oh, been that, that, that pesto in there is yeah. a garlic pesto. Right, let's try it and we'll tell you what we think after. It's good. Very garlicky. It tastes so garlicky, doesn't it? It's the pesto there. The garlic, the garlic avocado pesto. But, oh my god, it's amazing. The chicken just tastes like it's seasoned, but <laughs> there's honestly lots and lots of cloves crushed in this. So, world first for our channel garlic ice cream. Garlic ice cream with. Um, chocolate sauce. The thing is, you've had that much garlic for your dinner, you probably can't mm. taste it. Oh my god, you can taste it. <laughs> can you? Mm. You try that. Is it, oh is it nice? God, it is so strong. Is it nice? God help anybody who's on the bus tomorrow is on this wine tour. We're on give, it, stink. give it to you, give it to you. Wow, that is so strong. That's stronger than the salad and stuff. Right, go on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really strong, well, isn't it? That's um, too strong. It's weird, but it, it goes well. Yeah. Well, I prefer it without the garlic, but it, it's oh, I don't mind. Kind of, it's it's weird because it's like it tastes of ice cream, but it also tastes of garlic. It's yeah. strange. It goes, but it doesn't but go. Doesn't, that makes sense. We've also got a um, well. I've got a um, decaf coffee. I'm hoping there's no garlic in there. You enjoy that. Right, that's our meal done at the Stinking Rose. So thank you to everybody on our Facebook Ooh. group that recommended that. I'm sure the people in the tour bus tomorrow will not be thanking you guys because that garlic um, ice cream was so strong. All I can taste oh, in my yeah, mouth now is garlic. Only the first spoon you tasted it, and then after that it just tasted like normal ice cream. Obviously you got used to it, but even after having a meal that was covered in garlic, and I mean covered in it, you could still taste I it I can't in the ice taste cream. garlic now, and you usually can't taste garlic, so it was obviously very, very strong. Uh, we're now heading up to Coit Tower, which we believe is seven dollars each to get up there. And uh, once you're up there, a little bit of music, just as you do. Once you are up there, we uh, should get great views of the city. Just casually walking down the back streets of San Francisco. As you do. Right, we made it up that hill. Look at that car. I'm stood straight. Nick stood straight. The cow's car. like that. He's now on his look side. At the hill. And then we've just got to go up there. That is a 45 degree gradient. I wonder, we need to Google things. I wonder if that church has been using any films or, or TV shows. Well, 
been using a lodge guys video. That's true. There's Kite Tower, where we're heading. Oh god, I hope they have another little elevator to get to the top of it. Whew, it takes <laughs> a bit of effort to get up here. That was, takes, uh, after you've just had a three course garlic meal. That takes your breath away though. Yeah. Look at that. It's hard to explain the, the steepness. If you look at it now, you think, oh, we're on the flat. This hill is like that. No, no word of a lie, it's proper steep. That's something you don't see at home. Coyote alert. If you encounter a coyote, um, Nick, don't run, you've just got to walk. Oh, thank God, they've got an elevator up to the top. Right, so what we got here was actually $10, and it's mandatory to wear a mask. We didn't have one, we only had one, so we just had to buy one, that was a dollar. So it was $21 to go up there. I expected it to be open when I got to the top. Me too. Not like behind glass. Um, Golden Gate Bridge over there, where we sailed through this morning. Oh, there's that park that we walked past to get into the oh, stinking Washington rose. Square. Have a look out of this one. Wow, look at all those buildings everywhere. There's that um, steep road that we've just climbed up. This one here? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, there's the Chinese elementary school there as well. Oh, uh, yeah. We passed. Some of the piers down there, so that's Pier 23. And uh, Bay Bridge, I think it's called that one. Alcatraz around this side and Pier 39. It's so tiny. I wonder why Pier 39 is like so hustling and bustling and all the other ones are just sort of normal piers. Well, that, long, that looks developed, but I would imagine it's because a lot of the hotels are in this kind of area for it. Right, so the Coit Tower is 210 feet tall, it was built in 1933 and it's built for the remembrance of the firefighters that died in the major fires of San Francisco. And I think there's been multiple, maybe four or five major fires, um, so it was built in, in remembrance for those guys. Look at the rooftop gardens there. So they've got like uh, patio areas on the top of the buildings and uh, they've created some gardens. Quite a few people have done it as well, or they've just got patios and tables and chairs. And then somewhere over there is our hotel. Just trying to work it out. Why don't you, Nick, for the vlog, no. run, uh, run no. all the way down the middle of the street of the uh, road? If you want the day to be over, yeah. And don't stop until you get to the bottom. I'd, I'd just, I'd need to go to bed after that. Eh? I'd need to go to bed. Right, we're heading back through the park to get a bus. That bus there that's just driving away. It's got to wait for the next one, and it's going to take us to Lombard Street. Just having one of those moments that you sometimes have when you're in like a surreal place to your normal environment and all this is going off around you and then you just think about your home like for us the lodge and just to think that while we're usually sat in the lodge watching a star trek or something having as meals that all this is still going off and it never stops but then when you get back home you kind of forget about it it's like another world yeah but a different world we've had many moments so far haven't yeah. we on this trip I mean, the lodge could literally sit on the grass behind us and it would look exactly the same inside. <laughs> it's like it's like that when we were driving the motorhome around. It was the same inside, well, but yeah, the outside kept changing. Yeah. It's one of those weird things, one of those things that everybody does, but you just can't... It's just a weird feeling. It's also... Comment below saying, if you know exactly what we mean. It's one of those moments as well where when you're in the moment living it, you kind of... Not that you don't appreciate it, but you don't appreciate the memory until we look back on this moment and think that we're in San Francisco walking around the streets. You don't really appreciate it until you think about it in a memory. Because you don't, I think, because in, a, in, a, in the moment, you're thinking about just getting on with life. Getting on with, like, yeah. how are we gonna get to this next yeah. place? You're not thinking about the strong memories when you get there and what you've done last. All yeah. those, all this bit will be like stripped out of your memory. You'll just, you'll just remember the peaks. As I keep saying, it's when a moment becomes a memory, that's when it becomes special. Booby wax, I made it myself. Most of the buses here are all powered by these electrical wires and we, uh, what are you using there to track the bus? Google Maps. Oh, Google Maps tells you. Yeah, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. You just type in where you are, where you want to go, and it tells you what bus. And if you have to walk to get to the bus stop, it even tells you where to walk as well. This is us. Right, so we're now off the bus, as you can see, and we're heading to 
Lombard Street, which is like the zigzaggy road where you see the cars zigzagging around. We never saw it last time, so we really wanted to go and have a look at it. And even though we bought a day passport, it wouldn't scan on that bus for some reason, yeah. even though it was the same bus company. But, uh, but um, he didn't say down. anything, <laughs> we sat down and we went. And the bus was the fastest bus I've ever been on my life. I think we're on my lap most of the time. It was literally like, yeah, yeah. flying from stop to stop and then stopping dead and then flying to the next one. So it's just at the top of the hill. Another hill. Right, we're guessing this is where it is because there's uh, lots of people taking photos and there's lots of cars going down. You can't really see from the top. I think we need to walk down the path to get to the bottom and film yeah. back. Okay. Yeah, you can see the cars going down though. But uh, Nick's right, it'll look better from the bottom. No, I could, no, we weren't sure if we'd done it, but definitely not because I can't remember it. I would, I would recognise it. Yeah. It's that unusual. How slow you've got to go down in a car, and then uh, people just live here, and that's like their garage. So uh, we've got to come up here to their garage. Right, thanks to Wikipedia, as we usually consult, a um, bit of fact for you. So there are 17,000 visitors per day in the height of summer. Um, it's got eight hairpin turns and it's part of the US 101 highway, which we actually drove from Carmel right up to San Francisco last night. Other than that, it's just a street in San Francisco. So Lee's just gone to the toilet and I've just realized that we've come out from the, um, this undercover bit that we, that's behind me, that that hotel there was actually the hotel we stayed in in 2009 and it was actually, at the time, it was a Holiday Inn and now it's a hotel chain called Casa. So the bus stop that we're going to get is right, literally at the other side of that building. So the next stop is the Palace of Fine Arts, which we saw on a YouTube vlog once and it looks like a really beautiful garden. It looks almost kind of Roman, something that you'd see in Italy. And it's kind of just plonked in the middle of um, San Francisco. We saw it this morning when we were on the boat oh. from the outside. Um, there's a bus here. That's our bus. Is it? Yeah. Are we on the side of the road? Are we? Yeah. <gasps> Are we? Just ran and got on that bus, realized it's the wrong bus. We actually do need to be on this way. So we were at the right stop for the um, Palace of, what is it again? What? Palace we're, of Fine Arts. Palace of Fine Arts. Avenue to Just round the corner from the bus stop at the end of the street it is the Palace of Fine Arts. So absolutely huge. Massive. It didn't look this big when we saw it on the boat, but it's huge. It reminds me of something you'd see in Rome, even yeah. though I've never been to Rome. It well, it, it's Roman inspired, isn't it? Roman inspired designer built it, yeah. Yeah. You cannot comprehend the size of it. When you look at it from the ferry this morning, when you look at it on Google Earth, when you look at it on vlogs, when you look at it on websites, you just think it's just a building. But when you stood in front of it, it's massive. It's massive. It's 162 feet tall and it's been built since 1913, I think it said. It got completely re rebuilt in 1964 to 1974 and it's currently used today for like art, exhibition, um, displays, trade fairs, weddings, all that kind of stuff. So the other side is a uh, big lagoon. It's about the size of the lake at the lodge, isn't it? Yeah. It's just, just, just it's so it's, random, isn't it? It just doesn't <laughs> fit San Francisco. No, but it's, it's like nice. It's beautiful. Completely different. It's like it would be in Rome or something like yeah. that. So we're on Marina Drive in San Francisco in the uh, the Golden Gate Recreation Area. And if you recognise this area when Lee rotates the camera around. It's actually the scene where Spock and Kirk are walking along the front in Star Trek 4 and she comes up in their blue transit van and picks them up and then takes them for a ride. So they're actually walking in this direction that we're facing now, heading back towards Pier 39 and the uh, Ghirardelli chocolate experience thing. And they're just literally walking along the road here and she pulls up 
and she says, can I give you a lift somewhere? And then um, Spock tells her that Gracie, the uh, whale, is pregnant. Remember? Of course, it's one of my favourite Star Trek films. Of course, and you said that the truck was red. Well, I'm sure it's all red. It's not, it's blue. So as we walked further down, I loaded the um, video section on my phone and I pinpointed it. So this grass bit here, um, where the path is at the other side, that's where the, her car was and picked them up. And you can actually see the main road through the window behind him, which is the one that we're standing on now. Right, so we're walking along the uh, Marina Drive. Well, we're actually on MacArthur Avenue now. We're actually here, as you can see. And we are going to the chocolate location, which is just a little bit to the right here. And that's the outlook. Another nice public park where people are just chilling out. Ignore Google's chirping on there. And then you can see the Golden Gate Bridge in the background. Right, here we are at our next stop. Ghirardelli Square. Big chocolate machine. With a big chocolate machine there. So uh, let's go and see what this is all about. Right, so this is Ghirardelli Square, so there's all sorts of stuff here. Eat and drink, shop and play. Right, we're coming to the uh, San Francisco Brewing Company. Just trying one of the beers and then uh, we'll think about maybe getting some food a little bit later. Possibly, maybe from um, Fisherman's Wharf. Right, that's where we just had beer. That was a very nice beer as well. So the music has stopped now, so I can show you around a little bit more. So that was the San Francisco Brewing Company. You could sit out here if you want. You can get food there, but we just fancied somewhere else. We're just going to have a look around Ghirardelli Square. Um, and samples. Chocolate samples, oh yes. Well, you do in Florida, so let's see if they've they got any No, here. you don't. They've stopped it. I thought they brought it back. No. Well, we'll see if they've got any here. <laughs> Smells so good in here. Nick's found a menu. <laughs> what are we having? What oh we my having? God. <laughs> Look at them. Look at calories. Look at those. 1,290 calories, 970, 900. 1,700 there, Land's End. My God. Look at that. Oh my God. A slab of Ghirardelli. He's making it now. Oh yeah, they are. They're making it now. Oh, wow. I love this little square. Everything I see in San Francisco, I just love. I just think it's a, a fantastic place. Modern and, yeah. and metro. I just and love it. Love it. Here. Not dirty. Do you know what I mean? Oh, seafood and steaks over there. I don't know what I fancy tonight. Thirty-four dollars ninety-five for a uh, a bag of uh, Ghirardelli. There's a lot in there, though. It's well over it. Feel that you get eight in there, but if you buy another one, you get it for fifty percent off. Yeah, but it's still too much chocolate. Right, my hair is an absolute mess because of all the wind today. We are at the cable car stop, hoping that cable car will come past to take us back to the hotel. Although on the way, I think it goes past Chinatown. And I did say this morning on last vlog, we probably won't bother with Chinatown, but we just actually fancy trying some Chinese food. Um, so we're gonna go there as long as the cable car comes past and uh, takes us there. We're just walking, we've just got off the tram. We're just walking down towards Chinatown. I can't see things, so the sun's in my eyes. But we just passed this, and I just said to Lee, oh my God, it's where the Matrix, it's not really, but it looks where the um, Neo in the Matrix fought all the Smiths. Yeah. Check that out. Like they all came in from different angles and started having a big battle. I'm sure it wasn't filmed there, but, no. well it wasn't, but it looks the same. Might be, you never know. Right, Chinatown this way. Chinatown. Right, here we are in Chinatown. So we just got to uh, choose a good one. Nick's just having a quick look on uh, TripAdvisor to find some good ones. It's getting a bit windy as well. Right, there's one down here on the left hand side. It's four out of five. It's called Human House. I think we'll give that one a minute. Human House? Yeah. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> look at that street there. Love that. Reminds me of the one in London actually. Um, it's not called Human House, you got it wrong, it's called Hunan House. I've had a drink, I can't see. And it's got four stars out of five, so oh look, the best Asian food delivery. Oh no, I thought that were a TripAdvisor review, but it's not. No. Let's have a quick look what you can get. Chef's recommendation, special pig knuckles. Mmm, tempting. A braised squab. That looks like something that grows in your colon and they've pulled it out. Oh my god, orange peeled chicken. Yes please. Yeah, but 
Just cashew nut chicken. I think we need to up the rating on the um, on the um, reviews. Four out of five? What's wrong with that? Well, there's 4.5s out of five. We'll have to look at them. Right, we've come to another one which gets 4.3 out of five. Um, yeah, but it put me off when it said frog in a clay pot. Frog clay pot with mushrooms. I know there was. It can't some... be a frog. Frog. What would it? What would it? It was. Uh, oh, Chinese curry. Yeah. It was something like. Um, Goodness. Frog in a. In a... <laughs> but they've got cat menu. I've seen cat. cat? No, I don't think oh, so. Oh, catfish. Yeah, I quite fancy it because they've got um, orange some, chicken, orange chicken, and cashew nut chicken and stuff like that. That'll do me. Yeah. Right, let's go. Right, let's go. Up these stairs with this absolutely beautiful carpet, which is like something from England in the 1970s. It's working out if I've got to still have this carpet. Couldn't get a table. It must have been that carpet that attracted everybody. <laughs> it was really rammed in there, and they wanted to like to sit on tables of ten with loads of different people, which like could have been quite well, it's interesting. Like a cruise, you like you do that on a cruise, <laughs> don't you? You sit on the table with strangers. But the uh, one around the corner, they got four out of five. Was really nicely dimly lit and had like booths and stuff like that. So I think we'll go to that one. Right, we've got sat down. We've already uh, noticed pot stickers, which uh, we're probably going to get. What's this? Hot tea. Hot tea. Very nice. I don't think so. And also oh, yeah. underneath tea. here, we've got a hot plate for if you want to like cook yourself. But we don't fancy doing that I tonight. Don't want to do that. So um, we're going to start with some pot stickers to share, and then uh, we'll see what we want for his main meal. Where the frig have you drawn us, Lee? Frogs with chili peppers. Frogs with dual fresh peppers and spicy duck's tongue. It's called Chinatown. You're not in like a Chinese restaurant down I in, know, but in Barnsley now. I know, but I want something that I recognise. I'm not eating a bloody frog's, a, a duck's tongue. Just get, look at that one. Spicy pickled live fish. No thanks. <laughs> Where's chicken in okay? They have orange chicken, get that. And they've got pot stickers. I just hope it's got like pork in it, something like that. We've got lemon Ooh. chicken, sesame chicken. Giant clams, spicy garlic shrimp. Why don't you try a pig knuckle? Oh no, I, I couldn't. I'll try them if you try duck's tongue. No thanks. Do you even know what this is? It might be for someone to wash your hands with. It's not because it's the colour of tea. Try it. I already know what he's going to say when he tries this. I think it's really sweet. No, it's not. It's just, it's just tea, I think. It's nice. Like normal tea? Tea or either like hand wash anything like that. Hand wash while you're drinking it if it is. Nice tea. Right, can you pour me a cup? Right, I found the page with the less exotic stuff on it. So I'm going to go for orange chicken. Very um, different and unique for what you. What are you having? Chicken and chew. Very different. So the way it wasn't too long. Um, about 10 minutes, something like that. Oh, there was appetizers haven't come yet. That is the nicest orange chicken I've ever had. I'm having to pull the plate away from Lee because he's already started eating it. Well, why not? He's got, what, mm. what have you got? Chicken and... Chicken and cashew. What's them? Um, Looks like cucumber or melon. Not sure. So we've shared some rice. We've got a pot of tea. Pot stickers are on the way with a bit of soy sauce, and then we're going to go back, and I'm going to sleep because I'm absolutely knackered. I've got some editing to do, chilling to do, and we've got an early start tomorrow. We're going on a wine tour. Right, pot stickers have arrived, and um, how are you finding it? You like it? It's very rich. It's like a vinegary sauce, even though it's it doesn't taste of orange, but it's very sweet. Okay. I'm even going to give you two pieces Good. because thank you. It's too much for me. Right, that was gorgeous. The orange sauce was a little tangy. Very vinegary on the uh, on your chest, actually. Oh, these lights have got across. And um, we're just walking back. We're just wa actually walking out of Chinatown now. We're just going to walk just down the road. Our hotel's about like a 12 minute walk. And then once we get in there, we're probably going to just chill out, lay on the bed, drink some water. Might have a root beer, which we've got in the, uh, the freezer chest. And then get an early night because we're up in the morning and we're being picked up at 8.25 for a Napa Valley wine tour. Just got to show you the size of the Apple Store in uh, San Francisco Union Square. Even I'm impressed, given what it is. Absolutely massive. It doesn't. It does have remind me of uh, London, this area, very much. So do you know what I mean? Like Trafalgar Square and yeah. um, Regent Street. That's what it's, I mean. It's very modern. It's not dirty like LA was. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. So that's what uh, the outside of our hotel looks like in the evening. Here we are, right next door to Victoria's Secret. I thought you meant we were going in here then. The Western St. Francis Hotel. Oh 
back in the hotel. Got any chocolate? Uh, no. Oh. But there is a shop downstairs. If you fancy it, and I'm talking slowly because I just noticed that the tripod's slowly going down. It stopped, I think. <laughs> there is um, a shop downstairs if you want to go and um, sort something out. So we're back in the hotel. Um, I think it's, what time is it? Not that it makes a difference to you, but I want to know. It's eight o'clock, so it oh, is quite early. Eight o'clock? Yeah. Oh, but, I can't um, keep my eyes open. We are getting picked up at 8.30 tomorrow, is it, for our vineyard tour. So we booked it on Viator, so I'll tell you more about that in the next vlog. Um, like I said, we're getting picked up at 8.20. It's a full day, and I think we've got to three vineyards and we'll have some wine tasting. Um, no lunch in that, so we've got to get some lunch as well tomorrow. And um, I hope we have some, some time for breakfast, because I'll be Marvin, if not. Um, yeah, you've no chance for breakfast. Maybe we'll just call that Starbucks what's downstairs in the hotel and get something uh, on the way so thanks for watching today guys hope you enjoyed uh, what we did in san francisco today hit the like button click the notification bell if you are new around here hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next vlog for more usa road trip vlogs bye, bye.